hello and welcome again to aa home gardening today i'm giving you a tour of my container gardening in my backyard <music> Welcome again to AA Home Gardening. Today is the 26th of May. The sun is finally out. So I'm going to go through and show you my fruit trees and show you what L done after those late frosts and the weird weather we've been having. So I'm going to go around and show you what's happening in the garden, guys. The sun finally come back out. So let's go. First section we're going to observe is our raised bed. Look how lovely our strawberries have popped up. Look at my companion planting onions. Look how pretty they are, guys. In spite of the bad weather, we will be getting something from the garden. So, I'm not too, too disheartened because some of the things I know I'll get. I won't get everything I wanted to because, I you know, the late frost and everything did a few damages, which I'll show you shortly. But look at my strawberry. There's something to be happy and smile about all the time in the garden so there's a strawberry patch but if you look closely you can see I have some little aphids those are things I don't want so if you look around you can see it's not a lot so I need to nip it in the bud before they get any worse so what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw now for my spray bottle because these things I don't want in my garden. I don't want no aphids in my garden. I don't want them on my strawberry. I want all the strawberry from myself. So it's not a lot on it, but I'm going to spray it. Okay, there's a good example of this one here. If I can show you, you can see it's all infested with bugs and little things like that. So I'm going to um, go now. Here's another one here. Just a few aphids on them. So I'm going to go and get my spray bottle. And show you what I put in. I was sprayed to make sure I keep all these little soft body insects at bay. So I can get to enjoy my nice produce for myself. Okay. So give me a second. I've now located my spray bottle and it's actually getting a bit warm the sun is coming up nicely I'm so excited to see the sun i don't see it often since recently so i have my spray bottle here so i just need to pump it up so the solution for this i'm gonna leave it above i did a video last um last season last year where i give you all the special measurement the exact measurement and everything that i put in there okay so that's all i'm going to do to treat my strawberry beds or where my fruit trees on are all to make sure the insects stay at bay so at least with this spray buckle you can get to go underneath the leaves and everything like that. So it's quite handy to have one of these. So it's just like baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, one of the soft uh, washing up liquid, not the harsh one. So that would be a little slippery surface for the insects. It's going to be hard for them to hold on with all of those things in. But it is not badly affected. So it just need like a light spray to make sure everything stays at the so that's it i like how this bed is coming on since i transplanted some of these strawberries and then when the spray go down you just basically pump it up again and then you can continue spraying and the other thing is because the weather we had so much rain and i'm doing container planting one of the disadvantage of container planting is that the nutrients get washed out very, very quickly. So the clouds are still coming, so I'm not sure if I should do it today. But I was planning to feed all my beds today. But as I can see, the cloud is still coming. 
so i think i'll watch it and see probably until tomorrow so i'm gonna show you the rest so one second so if you look at this um cherry tree right here so you're just next to the strawberry bed there this cherry tree was loaded with blossom loaded and unfortunately i can count Ooh, there's few there probably about eight if that much is left on it because what happened we had the late frost so i went ahead and i covered it and that was a catch-22 situation because when i covered it from the frost then the bees well there was much bees around anyhow the bees couldn't get to pollinate so what happened the majority 98 percent almost 99 i would say percent of the blossom fell off and then this one needs to spray because you can see there are a few leaves that look a bit eaten going on there so that's what going on there so I have this bed going this um cherry going on then I have this cherry that seems to held down a little bit more but it's still not in a lovely state we see we had a little aphids issue earlier so you can see some of the leaves curling around but I've sprayed it so there's not much in the folded section anymore but I need to give them some extra food because as I said they're in container and with the consistent rain we've been having recently they didn't know the majority of the nutrients has been washed out so what i did at the beginning of spring was to feed them with some seed weed liquid feed but that is all gone now so i have to feed them some more probably give them some fish and bone this time and things like that so that's what's going on with this cherry tree so it's a little bit better i can see a couple cherry but come over to this one this is my sunburst cherry this one always seems in irrespective of the weather or what's going on this one always seems to hold on to more cherries than the other one so you can see how few more but they are dying for some feed last year this time because the weather was much warmer and nicer in spring last year this time we had bigger cherry at this time and then the blueberries at this time if you go on my playlist and look for the blueberry videos you realize how big and juicy today is the 26th you realize how big and juicy these blueberries were this part of the time in may where we kind of have everything we want can we? we just have to make do with what we are given so one of my subscribers was asking me about how to maintain the blueberries and things like that so you know you have your special soil i put a link of the picture above that you buy that is like a soil for more acidic plants and then i normally can buy special food oh there's like a bee i love seeing bees in action doing the job right as i'm doing the video isn't that beautiful i just love nature they have all these pretty nice surprises for us just as i'm talking about nature and trees the could be show up so that's a nice surprise so you do that sometime i put um coffee grungs in there's always a debate to see if it, the coffee grunk alter the pH or anything of the soil but i tend to use it it's a neutral thing so it's fine it, it, for me it does help with the blueberry bush so i put um ground coffee in there as well and then i just try to use rainwater blueberry bush don't like tap water because the tap water the chlorine in the tap water can um make the soil go back to the alkaline level so if you can use rainwater it does make a massive difference as well so use a special soil you try to put it in container because it's easier for you to manage the ph of the soil that way and then sometimes you can just put a little bit of vinegar in the water to alter the pH to more on the acidic base okay so there are certain things like that you can do so over here you have another blueberry bush so I need to feed these because you can see them trying to hold on to lots of blueberries and now the rain of pause a little I need to feed them so they can get nice and plummy and juicy so I can get to feed on my blueberry so that's another blueberry bush going on here there's a blueberries beautiful blueberries going on there some of these you can see them taking like a farm you can see the base coming on beautifully so it's not too bad and over here is the same thing going on but if you look i'll show the clouds at the moment 
it does look like the rain is coming back so probably it's not the best time to feed them can you see all the cloud so i was going to feed them but i think i'm going to wait probably until tomorrow now because the worst thing is you go and feed them again and then you have the heavy dung pour and everything is washed away again so blueberry there blueberry there and i'm going to link above all the feed um the day that i'm buying i can't remember the exact name this is a particular blueberry feed that i bought i don't have the box with me so i'm going to link it above so i put those in and i mix it with the coffee grounds and then i put that in and i try to water it with rain water as much as possible then that's my ever that's my sunshine blue over there blueberry and then if i can show you that's my autumn bearing one right here there's a little one green branch there growing because one of the branches was broken last year and i just stick it in the ground and it's coming and guys look there's another bees in action isn't it beautiful to be in nature we get all these beautiful things to see just as we're speaking they're doing their job so now the sun is out today the bees are coming out this um this may well this spring have been a bit weird this year but we still have to giggle thanks we're still gonna get something from the garden so this is my arona berry otherwise known as choke berry guys i know it's not the best tasting thing in the world i'm not gonna lie it doesn't taste good but it is so worth having in your garden because if you don't like the taste you don't have to munch on it like that you can make it into jam you can make it into um like a pie you can make it into juice you can make it in all those things so and it's so loaded with so many nutrients and it's have more vitamin c as i mentioned before than these lovely blueberries and it's loaded with antioxidants what more do you want guys don't let the taste put you off be creative be creative in how you use it and you can have a pleasant taste from it so that's what's going on there then my beautiful Jonagol apple tree sadly it didn't keep on most of the blooms as i know the things were covered some were knocked off and i was covering them from the frost and then by the time the frost was finished the blossom and the petals start falling off before they got pollinated so this year i don't think will be plentiful of fruits or berry but whatever i get i'm grateful as you saw i did a little harvest of some garlic and carrots so whatever i get i'm thankful but you can see some of the tiny apple so if it's even one or two i'll get to taste it this year you can see one and two holding on so i will taste it i have one and two hanging on on here on the tree so i'll probably get a dozen and it's homegrown so if it's homegrown and you're getting a dozen then it's actually worth it and everywhere you look you can see one and two and you can see them hanging on everywhere so you can see one and two apples scattered around but what i want to show you you know i keep on going oh, a few more apples but i keep on going on about my first graph guys this is my conference pier the last time i show you there was no leaves on it so now you can see the leaves it's actually taken guys so i have my john gold apple and then i now have a conference pier i'm hopeful so next year <laughs> i'm just showing you apple and pear on my one tree and then i was trying to get some cut in this spring but because of the rain and everything i probably have to wait until autumn now but i'm trying to see if i can graft some more things onto this beautiful apple tree as i know it's all in container and if i was growing some red cabbage you know i sold some from seed so the nice ones are transplanted out the ones who didn't seem like they were going to make it i just put the the compost that i was growing them in in this apple con container and look at some of the seeds weren't dead guys these are red cabbage growing in my apple container so these were the compost seed that i thought weren't going to make it but they did make it and they're growing up nicely there so that's what's going on with my jenna gold apple tree it's beautiful i kept trimming it so it can stay in a compact shape because it's been grown in container then over here is my tayberry that i trimmed the life out of i trim it so much that my husband was saying that he doesn't think he's gonna get any tayberry this year but they're late because of the season and because of the weather 
what are coming on there's my tea berries there's my tea berries there's my tea berry so what i'm gonna do just like i did with the strawberry bed i'm not gonna bore you through it all but if you can see there's ants creeping around so you know they're aphids so i'm gonna go around i'm gonna spray all of these plants because you can see some ants in there and you know where there's ants there's aphids lingering around so i'm gonna come around and spray my beautiful tea berry and remember guys i keep on saying if you haven't tasted tea berry you need to go out i'm gonna link i'm gonna try and see if i can link the video above as well of the tea berry that i had last year every way is the tea berry shooting out i have tea berries guys i got rid of so much because these grow like weed and having them in container you know you have to try to keep them compact somehow and if you look at probably my tidy up video i think it was it's called tidy up then you can see i was trimming everything back they stay buried this could be one of the giveaway what do you think guys i have a giveaway going on tomorrow there's a nice little table plant there if anything i can dig out some more and then remember i had one white container of table and i have two black containers there's other table berries going on there and then you can see they're shooting up everywhere everywhere guys if you like pancake or you like ice cream or you like smoothies you can never have enough berries in your garden so this is my table section these are some potatoes as well lovely lovely potatoes coming on i just need to stock them up some some more and then because i have different stages of potatoes i'll be harvesting some very soon i'll take you on the journey as well because i have some more that is ready to be harvested now those were planted from january so over here i have some raspberry so this is just outside in the garden i haven't even been in the polytunnel today and i think i probably have to go in the polytunnel another day because this video is getting long so i take it over the polytunnel another day so this is the raspberry so the raspberry going on beautifully here beautiful raspberry look at the amount of raspberry guys if you look at here just a week and a half ago it looked like we weren't going to get anything because of the weather but look you can see raspberry opening up you can see raspberry coming all over and if you follow me you know i love my raspberry i'm a little six year old always running into garden in the morning to get his raspberry before everyone else but it's gonna be so much this year i make sure i have plenty so everyone can have enough without fighting over everything anything so my big one loves strawberry my little one loves to come by the raspberry bush and when the raspberry is finished then he goes over to the blueberry there's another bees i don't know if you could see him he's gone the phone away i love being in nature i love being in the garden when you're in the garden you see so many things to make you smile and then you have raspberry everywhere guys it's just raspberry heaven going on right here I have raspberry everywhere raspberry everywhere so i have raspberry and you can see they're all coming on some opening up some ready to go you can see a little raspberry there and if you follow me you notice that i trimmed these raspberry really really hard and i was finished i was thinking i probably was too heavy handed but look how beautiful is it look how bushy look there it's compact already then even though the rest of the mustard green at the polytunnel is all pulled up and everything. This wonderful mustard green that I've kept outside all year last year. I've picked from this for salad so many times and it's still coming up. There's a little um, narrow kale going in on there. There's an elephant garlic. And then this, you can see the raspberry as well. Raspberry everywhere. And this one. Look, look there. I just break off a little branch stick it in the ground and you can see is in full bloom there it is so i probably could dig this one up as well for my giveaway mm, so many ideas this other one here we just have like a tiny branch as well for my raspberry and i just stick it in the ground and i have raspberry coming up everywhere guys once you have one raspberry cane you will never be out of raspberry you're gonna have raspberry till they can give away a raspberry you can make raspberry um slushy thingy for with summer you can make raspberry ice cream raspberry in your pancake raspberry sauce raspberry in so many things because it produces beautifully then coming over here this is my 
first mulberry that I bought. When I bought it, it was literally 99.9% .9 dead. And it's about whew, 15 inches. But I nursed it. Then it started growing some leaves. Then I transplanted it outside. Then the weather caught it. But if you look there, you can see there's still life in this little thing. So I may get some mulberry this year, if not next year. So it's still alive. So it's coming on. Then you have my Chilean guava over there. This is autumn bearing. It's extremely slow growing. But it's coming on. It's fine. Then I have my pomegranate coming back into uh, loads of leaves on. I watch um, 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 videos online. People enjoying their pomegranate. I'm just hoping and praying that I can get some fruit this year. I want my very own pomegranate to taste, guys. I'm super excited. You can even see, you remember last year, I tried the butter bean on it. There's even a leftover butter bean from last year on it. And everywhere you look, you see potatoes because I put my kitchen scraps in my garden, as you know. There's my potato skin. There's a little potato coming from it. The only thing, when I experiment growing potato from skin, they do take longer to form the little potato than if you do it straight from potato seeds so there's it so guys yes you can grow potatoes from skin there it is from the peel there's your potatoes everywhere you look you're gonna see potato popping up in my garden because they're all kitchen scraps so you can see just the skin of the potato producing nice plants and yes you can grow these on to get your nice potato harvest but I don't really need them. I just need them for compost. I just pull them up when I see them. You can see that's what's going on there. So that's my nice pomegranate tree. And I'm hoping I get something. Then moving over here. You have my kiwi. And leaves are coming up now. So the sun is out today. We're promised two weeks of nice weather. So I'm hoping we don't have any more these consist rain is good i'm not complaining what you need both you need rain and sun so this is the kiwis coming up beautifully so guys we can plant in containers don't think you don't have enough space or your soil is not good or you have too much clay or too much whatever you have we can plant in container then i have my low coat my low coat is coming back up but these are still nice and glossy so is okay and it was only a baby but i have to chop him up i have to cut him so much because it was damaged from last year but you can see the good things coming up then i have my mint springing back up there then i have my little rose going on there so that's what going all on in this side of the garden so sun is out sun is out I haven't seen sun for a couple of days then i'm gonna take it to my other strawberry bed so this was the original one where i pull most of the things from and put it in the other bed so this is my strawberry bed guys guys you know when you buy strawberries at the shop sometimes they're big and fat and when you dive into it there's absolutely no taste whatsoever not my strawberries mm -mm 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 -mm. these strawberries i said usually in autumn winter I bury my kitchen scraps directly so these things are being fed and if you can see there's aphids on it so I have to come and spray these things as well so you can see there's loads of strawberries coming on here I have garlic as you know the flat leaves are the garlic so I have garlic in this bed and I have few onions you know to repel most of the pests so I have strawberries everywhere guys my garden is looking beautiful so I know I'll be getting something in spite of the weather. So I have some wild garlic going on there. Nothing fancy. Then look at my magnificent bay leaf. The moment I repotted this last year, it just got new leaf of life. And if you look, there's another little one coming up. And I told you I have um, one over here, one there one over there i have so much bay leaf now guy i think i probably can start sacrificing one and two leaves to start putting in my food because i was just waiting on it to shoot up and become bigger before i start picking off all the leaves 
so that's what's going on in the my the main part of the garden so that's it guys let me know what's going on in your garden you know we had a rough start for this spring but let us be thankful for the little bits that are coming up and comment below you know what have you harvested so far or what is springing up or what are you looking forward to i'm looking forward to my beautiful Gold apple it is you have like a only taste at the end it's just superb and guys no you don't need any extra apple tree someone asked me if i wanted an extra apple to pollinate it no this one will sell for a towel as you can see i only have one apple tree in my garden and it fruited last year and you can see the video from last year and i enjoyed the fruit this this year i did my graphing and i'm gonna get another apple to graph onto it but you don't need it for it to produce fruit for you so that's what's going on in my garden so guys until next time keep gardening the sun is out be happy you know we may not have what we want we may not have it how we want it but there's always something to be thankful for so until next time remember a thumbs up like share and subscribe and keep guarding bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell